Cora, why don't you use Nookazan to find Lolly? Because I don't wanna! If you find yourself wanting a Dreamy or Nook Mile tickets or a color variation of a specific type of furniture item, check out Nookazan. Properly named after the site it's based on, eBay, the uh, Amazon, Nookazan is your go-to place to search for that one particular item. This website has been around for almost the entire lifespan of New Horizons, helping players interact and trade with others online since most of us don't have friends. Nookazan was created to be a better way to trade items between players without having to weed your way through the complete mess of a Discord server. The website is the perfect solution to the problem. Well, as perfect of a solution that the trolls allow us to have. Whenever we do villager hunt streams, I get asked all the time, why don't I just use Nookazan to pick up my dreamy? I won't spend as many tickets and it's a lot quicker. The answer is, it's not as fun as hunting. I love spending 60 plus hours searching for a specific villager and finding 389 of the 391 villagers in the game before laying eyes on the dreamy of my choice. Villager hunting is fun. It satisfies that like Christmas morning RNG blessing gambling feeling without the horribleness of losing money to a severe debilitating addiction. I love coming together with the community while we all get excited about the game and collectively hate on Tabby. Look at her, just we're, we're all sick of that face and those teeth. Ugh, are those teeth? So is Nookazan worth your time? Is it friendly enough? Is it easy enough to figure out? Yes. The answer to all these questions is yes. Nookazan allows you to trade goods and services in the New Horizons world with other people without paying real money. Never use real money. There are plenty of people out there trying to help each other out by trading for in-game currency like bells or Nook Mile tickets. Websites are people that are willing to sell you items for real money or going against Nintendo's TOS and are basically ripping you off. You can find practically any item you want for zero dollars. You can even find treasure islands that you can go to for free to fill your pockets with items for free without even spending bells or nook mile tickets. These people are angels. Did I mention they were free? But treasure islands are for a whole other video. This video is Nookazan. Finding an item or a villager you need is as easy as typing it into the search bar and hitting search. Like any online shopping site, you can search through the results and pick the item that you want. Once you do, you'll see a ton of listings from a bunch of people who have listed the exact item that you happen to be looking for. Everyone will be accepting different trades, usually in the form of bells, nook mile tickets, or something that they'll accept from their wish list. If you're looking for someone to potentially answer immediately, make sure said person has a little green dot next to their name, which signifies that they're most likely online. Like any online store, you'll want to check out the reviews to make sure the person you're going to be trading with is legit. There are a lot of trolls on the internet. Unfortunately, Nookazan is not immune to them. Clicking on their listing will let you make an offer. If the item is in high demand, get there quick, or offer a little bit more than they're asking. Usually being the first to offer is enough to get their attention with 90% of the items on the site. Once they accept your offer, you'll receive a Dota code to their island to pick up your item. From then on, it's business as usual when trading. Drop your offer, pick up your item, head out. Selling is as easy as buying, you're just on the other side of the transaction. Be ready for offers to come in and set up your island with the assumption that someone's probably going to try to mess it up in every way possible. It's not that the people who use Nookazan are always going to, you know, screw you over, but just be aware that there are people in the world that do do that stuff. Nookazan is usually pretty safe. It's rare to run across someone who trollolols around your island. Do your homework, find the right trading friend, and reap your rewards. If you like your interaction with someone, leave a nice review so other Animal Crossing folks know that this person doesn't want to screw them over. If you do have someone arrive on your island, think about taking the necessary precautions. Fence off your entrance, use the Mario pipes to your advantage, and get ready to turn off your switch and disconnect from the internet if they start doing some shady stuff. You can find anything and everything in New Horizons on Nookazan. Like villagers. You want a specific villager on your island? Don't head over to eBay. Hit up Nookazan, there's always someone posting a listing for a villager in boxes. Like poor Rocco here, who is the neighbor with the lowest average sell price. Look at that, four listings and one's even free. Missing an item because the smug villagers hand them out and you don't feel like having Raymond on your island long enough to get a new recipe from him? Boom, DIYs on Nookazan for your trading pleasure. 
can even find an island with Daisy May on it if you happen to have missed turnips for the week or maybe your buy price for the week was at the 110 bell cap. You can head over to someone else's island and buy them for less. Or maybe someone has a decent sell price if you've been cursed with a decreasing week. Or maybe you're sick of your island, want to restart it, but you don't want to lose all your items and money. There are some very nice people online that will hold your items for you on their island while you go through the process of deleting all your hard work. Be really careful with this one, it's probably the perfect place to troll around, but if you're gonna delete your stuff anyway, at least the service gives you a chance of getting your stuff back. Again, pay close attention to the reviews of the user. A fun one to mess around with is the mystery bags. These are cool, especially if you have a bunch of stuff that you need to get rid of from your own storage. Make a listing, get rid of a few items, maybe even get some Nook Mall tickets for your hard work. Nookazon is a great place to go if you need something specific that lack of friendship makes impossible for you to get yourself. You do, however, need Nintendo Online to be able to connect with other people on the site. Now only if we could get Nook to fly to space along with Jeff Bezos, then all of our problems will be solved. What's your favorite thing to grab from Nookazon? Let everyone know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!